and they crossed out the rep and set hashtag. No longer is he on X set. This is all about GE fighting. And uh, fight they did. I mean, Gen G, that initial half was just great from them. Once they switch, uh, swap positions, it just seems like TS was steps behind Aaron. Yeah. Streets behind, perhaps. Streets, <laughs> streets are behind. I like Cameron that. might not be here, but I'll keep up the community references. Thank you. I mean, it's uh, you're absolutely right, though. I mean, it, Aaron might have been making the right calls. Maybe the impact on KO wasn't that much. So, I mean, eight assists is what we're seeing. But in a lot of these moments, it's also just the positioning of things. Knowing where Gen G might be, knowing where Gen G would head towards, Aaron set his teammates to the right spots. And SK Rossi found the best skills. And even that final round, with the way that he pushed in, despite the Viper Spit being, uh, being deployed, SK Rossi dismantled Gen G's defenses. To fight back and put up solid results against teams that on paper, you look at the records and say, they have no business winning this. You were the sole person to go for global in this matchup, Black. And, you know, I don't think any of us could have anticipated that global was gonna look this clean today. Because they have looked good in the past, pushing DRX into that 17-15 OT. We know they have what it takes. But to do it this cleanly, to avoid overtimes, to not let Genji ever get into double-digit round wins is so much more than we could have ever expected. Yeah, so much. Achilles, you said it earlier, nobody could have predicted this. I did not predict this. I, I might have just thrown Global's name in the hat for, I wouldn't say fun, but... Surely you have to believe in these players watching their performances from today. Aaron on the KO, who would have thought that would have worked out?